Today in the grain market, after the USDA report, the soybeans fell. It was a mixed report really for beans uh, with stocks and acreage. The acreage was a little bit lower. We thought we might get a little bit of a boost, uh, but uh, that's definitely not happening. We're still watching outside influences kind of like helping these, uh, these markets. We know that the weather is going to be changing a lot of these acreage numbers, but who cares because corn was a, had an all-out collapse today. That's the real story of the day. The bears just absolutely pounded futures down 17 cents. We haven't seen uh, this kind of movement in quite a while. Uh, the, uh, the stocks were up and the acres were way high. You can see the percentages of acres were in uh, Arkansas as well as North Dakota, North and South Dakota. Interestingly enough, those states are a couple of the states that we really were adversely affected by those winter storms. So we're going to be watching closely. Uh, we expect that those acres, those acre numbers are going to change and uh, there is still talk that we could have uh, weather issues all way through to May. Uh, that being said, it was a total washout today and I think that it's uh, really, there's going to be a, a lot of people taking care of their wounds on their positions right now. There's a, so There was some big short positions. Uh, perhaps it's because it's the end of the week, month, and quarter that we might see some rebound next week, uh, but I will say that the volatility is here to stay. Now, the wheat was a little bit lower. Uh, also, I think that that was kind of just taken over by the, uh, uh, by the corn. I think 28% of of the uh, uh, of the from uh, 20, we were 28 percent lower uh, with the stocks from last year. So we would have expected the market would have had a little bit something, you know, a little bit higher. But uh, that was not to be. Now we're at at about the 450. We did not take out the lows for wheat, but we are kind of just hanging here right now, uh, we're just waiting for some news. Hopefully that there's going to be some uh, resolution with the U.S.-China uh, the trade war. Uh, that really has been difficult and it kind of been playing on these markets. A uh, lot of volatility ahead, and I think this is just uh, the beginning, so hang on to your hat.